people to get a mortgage. You know, on an on inflation, you know, we've had a massive shock to the global economy because of COVID, because of the war in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. But it, it's important we keep a grip on inflation. But inflation is forecast to peak this year and then come down afterwards. So, you know, it's important we grip inflation. I fully support, you know, the monetary policy the Bank of England has set out. But we shouldn't, we shouldn't bake that into the future. I think it's really important we get inflation down so that we can, you know, help you get on the housing ladder. Well, there's a smile there. Jessica, thank you very much indeed. I, <laughs> I hope there is some, some food for thought and some optimism there. But thank you very much for coming along there, uh, Jessica Buckthorpe. Um, from, from one end of the age spectrum, as it were, to another end of the spectrum, and I was genuinely surprised at the number of emails and messages uh, we got about war widows, which is something mm. that you've addressed, but also particularly about the WASPy women mm. and a continuing crisis that they feel themselves uh, about rule changes and how it impacts upon uh, their pensions. Patricia Morgan uh, can say it, I think, much better and more clearly than I can. Patricia, uh, your question to Liz. Thanks, Liz, for bringing some sunshine to Lee, but we're not used to it. So oh, <laughs> it's always it. sunny every time I come to Lee. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, right, well, I was born in 1955, so that's the biggest clue. I am a waspy woman. I was born here in Lee, as was my dad, but uh, my mum was from where you are at the moment, from Norwich in Norfolk. Mm. So uh, she lived all her life in Lee. She got a pension at 60. Not, nobody changed the goalposts when mum was waiting for her pension. We, however, have, as you know, have had the rug pulled from underneath us after many of us working from being 15 or 16 mm. years of age, not going into the labour market at 20, 21, 22. We've worked for 40 years, 45 years, only to find that we then have to wait an additional six years for the yeah. pensions that we were promised when we were 60. Boris Johnson, when he was in your shoes, said he would look at this injustice with fresh eyes. He also added there was no magic money tree, but mm. there's been a veritable orchard over the last couple of years, what with Brexit and Covid, and money's been there for everything else. And we feel disrespected, mm. undervalued, we feel that a country that can treat its older people like this is not a civilised country that values the contribution that we've made. Patricia, thank you for that very much. <laughs> Closed case, or you've heard what she said on behalf of many women, is it a case that you will I mean, reopen and look at? I have huge sympathy for WASPy women, and in fact, I've had many uh, representations in my surgery uh, in, Norfolk, in Norfolk on this subject, and... You know, I do think, you know, in the pensions and tax system, we haven't looked after women fairly, and women have suffered. Uh, I do think it's a problem. One thing that I have said I will do is review our overall tax system to make it fairer for families, to make it fairer for people who take time out of work to look after children or look after elderly relatives. But on the you know, to be to be honest with you, and I have to be honest, on the specific case of the Waspy women, I don't think it was handled very well at the time. I completely admit that, and there wasn't enough respect shown. I I very much uh, agree with that. But I think where we are now, it will be very difficult to go back. So, you know, I'm sorry to, but but I have to be honest about about the situation of where we Not are now. Not the answer now, you would want to hear, but, what, what but, I do but want... actually an honest answer. But what about the last, over a year ago, the Parliamentary Health Service Ombudsman ruled that there had been maladministration and recommended fair and fast retribution. Will you support what the, the Ombudsman has, after six years of investigation, agreed? Is what we I, mean, I, I really just don't want to make promises I can't keep, to be absolutely that honest like with you. No. Yeah. Well, and, and uh, what I don't want to do is make promises and not be able to find, find the funding and also reopen the issue. Yeah. As I've said, going forward, I do want to make the system fair for women. I do want to make the system fair for families. I agree with you. It wasn't handled well, and you know, I I regret I regret that was the case. You know, I think it was back actually in the days of the coalition, uh, the coalition government. But I, I'm not able. I'm really sorry. I'm not able to promise you that. Sometimes sorry it's about like that. that.
sometimes it's been like I, that for six I think years. you, like me, would rather have an honest answer than some. An honest about answer what is good, happen. but a positive answer would have been uh, much more appreciative to women who will now yeah. have to really choose between. Yeah. Fully and understood, and and you 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 put the point extremely well, Patricia, and, and thank you, thanks, Liz, as well. Um, I, I mentioned in passing in the introduction to to Patricia's question, war widows. Um, in 2018, you promised a group of war widows that you would right a wrong, namely that you would reinstate their war widow pensions, which were taken away after they remarried, although the laws changed in 2015, 300 war widows fell through the gap. Is mm. that something that you will revert to if you become Prime Minister? Well, th this is something I looked at um, as Chief Secretary to the Treasury, yeah. and I remember I was in discussions with the Ministry of Defence when I was then, Boris Johnson was elected as leader, and I got moved uh, into a different job, but I certainly will look at that, and I will look at uh, that issue because I do think it is very, very unfair that war widows who then remarry are essentially penalised. So I will look at that issue. On the record, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you very much indeed.